Yeah, it's it, listen. There was a lot that went into this emotionally. Yeah, like, it was tough. Like, yeah, honestly, I was. You know, you lose sleep when you're dealing. That's why for me, I'm not a draft pick. Come and go. You can always get them back. If we didn't have any this year, we get them back. But when you're trading people, that's different. And I, I'm a player's coach. You know, I I I enjoy the time around the guys. I enjoy trying to you know motivate them, get them to play at a high level, and guide these guys, and kind of, you know. So it's tough when you're trading people. Um, you know, Max was was a great professional when he was in New York, and he did great. You know, from the start, he kind of, you know, helped write the ship when his first year here, when we kind of had a ton of question marks and people were jumping off the ship like the Titanic, and um, he helped us shore the ship and 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 kind of turn things around. So, you know, and Carol Lunas was here when my first year when I was an assistant coach. You know, um, when my brother Brian was on the team, and you know, Jim Mule was the coach, and I was an, I was a defensive coach, and. You know, Brian was, yeah, he was, I, moving him was, it was terrible. I was sick to my stomach for days when, when this thing was going on, just because obviously I know the kind of players we're getting and bringing in, but you're trading away people that you grow bond, you know, relationships with and, and good people. And, uh, you know, BK is, is, is the best, you know, as somebody I'm going to, I'll miss tremendously, um, you know, and, and we had a great relationship. So it's, it's tough when you're trading people, like I said, and it's, uh, you know, but it's part of the it is a business. You know, it, it it's a business, and you got to win. And, and this is the move that we felt was right for the organization. 